Okay folks, here we go for the install of the Tour Attack radiator guards. I'm just going to take you down to the front of the bike and show you the three screws Torx T25s that we've actually got to remove and we'll then progress with the install once, that, uh, once those three screws are removed and the plastic panel has also been removed. So here we go. Okay, so there's one screw there that is pretty obvious, which is this one. We've also got to remove that one, and there's one right up in there. I'm just going to get a torch. So that you can see that one. Okay, you should be able to see that. Okay, so we've got to remove those. And this plastic shroud of the radiator, you pull out at the bottom and just ease down very gently, and there you have it. That's it out. Okay, we've moved over to the bench um, because it's going to be easier to show you um, how this is done. It's a very simple process. Um, what we're looking at is the, the shroud off the bike here. And this is the actual guard that's going to be going onto this, this side. Now, this is actually sort of the reverse side of the um, guard it actually faces out this way so you're looking at the face that you will see once it's mounted onto the bike okay so what we need to do is apply a short length of this tubing to this flange and then we need to need to apply these buffers these are there's four of these if you notice that they're, they're actually split. Now I've already cut that pad that I showed you in the unboxing or the unbagging. Um, I've actually cut that strip in half. It was that long so that's in half. Okay, And you put one each of those in each corner of this plate. So you put one there, one there, one there, and one there. Now that faces the radiator and it compresses because that, that's actually foam. It's a high density foam. And it compresses against the radiator when you do the screws up. And with these tabs up the top here that locate onto the bike, they actually press this, the, the whole radiator guard and these pads against the radiator. So it's a nice secure setting. So, what we'll do, we will cut a length of this, I'll put this to one side for a sec. We actually, we might as well put these little buffers on. So, we peel one off, and it goes there. Another one goes there. Up the top. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't wipe this off with metho, methylated spirits because I really don't think that they're going to be going anywhere. And the heat from the radiator will make sure they stick properly too. Okay? So, there's the four pads. One, two, three, four. They're done. Alright? So, we then flip it over and we use, get a piece of this stripping, if you can see that. Okay, and we cut that to 
the same length as that flange or tang or whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to grip it there. Cut. And there we have it. Now, that's supposed to be all we need to do. But, I've actually used some of this, which is a very, very thin double-sided tape. And what I've done with this, just to help a little bit, is, because it wants to stick to everything, I think we might... Um, Okay, <laughs> forget that bit. I'll get that bit later. Okay, so what we're going to do is cut another bit. And we're going to grab that, take this back off. And we're just going to fold that around. Okay. I just prefer to have that on there. Um, it gives, it may or may not give the rubber something to bite to, but I would prefer to have it on there. It's up to you whether you do it. I'm, it's not my call for you. And what I did, I just opened that up a little bit, eased it open, eased it open and slid it on like so. Okay. And that's all the preparation that's involved for doing that guard. Including the extra bit of sticky there. Okay. So, what we'll now do is go back to the bike and fit it up. Okay, I'll just show you the orientation of the guard and the shroud. So you might be able to see that little tang with the rubber buffer on it. It sits over the top like that. So that the rubber buffers, the foam buffers that we put on, these ones here, they actually face towards the radiator, okay? So we'll put that on like that. It doesn't clip in or anything, it just sits there under its own weight at the moment, okay? So just, just don't drop it and just be careful of it. And then we'll position that up against the um, up against the radiator. Okay. Hopefully you can see that you've got the two tabs, one, two. They locate back up into the slots that are up the top of the radiator there. We push that in. Click. And just ease it down a tiny tad and get one of the T25 machine screws, preferably the bottom one, and just get that in there. Don't tighten it up, just, just so that it doesn't fall out. And then the next one up, make sure you don't cross thread these too. Um, not that hard to cross thread them and if you do it doesn't do the a the machine screws and b the speed nuts that are actually that they're screwing into it doesn't do them any good at all so try not to cross thread them and make sure they're in the right way okay Let's make sure that's okay and then the fiddly fiddly top up should be 
in. And just go over them. Once again, not He-Man tight. It's only going into plastic. And that's, that's it. Well, folks, that's it for this install. Um, the guards, or that guard's gone on well. I'm going to do the other side in a sec, but I'm not going to bore you with that. You don't need to um, sit through the whole process again. Um, very happy with, with the outcome of that. Um, the Tour Attack guard is pretty strong. It's stainless steel. I ended up not using the wire ties. I found that the, the mount is extremely secure. Over the next few weeks, months, I'll keep checking them uh, to make sure that everything is okay. Um, if they do need the wire ties or the zip ties, then I'll obviously put them on. But at this stage in time, I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, it is a very, very secure mount, so I'm quite happy with that. So, if you found that useful, or you just liked the video, give me a thumbs up, and please don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. It all helps. So thanks very much, and I'll see you next time for the next install.